Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger of Comedy, I'm back with another Pokemon Masters video, and today marks the beginning of my Let's Play series for this very exciting new Pokemon mobile game, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Now, there are two main reasons why I decided to make this series happen. The first one is that Pokemon Masters was finally launched in Canada earlier this morning, which just makes it so much easier for me to play this game without using a VPN every single time. And number two is that the response to my first impressions video about this game from a couple days ago was surprisingly positive and you guys seem to really like this game so obviously I want to make content that appeals to you guys. Oh and of course I love Pokemon so all those factors combined made this series a thing and without further ado guys let's jump right into it. Here we go. Oh, by the way, I do plan to start from the very beginning here, so if you guys already watched the first impressions video, then feel free to skip ahead maybe 10 to 15 minutes to get to the new stuff. Okay, so we got our boy Blue here, he says, Hey there friend, welcome to the world of Pokemon Masters. I'm Blue, I'm a pretty big deal around here. But enough about me, tell me about you. So, this is where we choose our nickname as well as do a little bit of character customization. And for the nickname, we'll keep it simple, just like last time. We'll go with our real name, T-I-G-E-R. There we go, Tiger. Oh, I did notice that in the comments of the previous video, a few people were shocked to find out that my actual name was Tiger. <laughs> and there's actually a story behind that, but I'm not gonna get into it in this video. Uh, maybe in a future stream or something like that, just remind me to tell you the story of how my legal name to be Tiger, all right? Just remind me and I'll let you guys know. It's not the most interesting story, but people seem to be curious, so there's that. Okay, anyways, there's the trainer settings here and um, there's really not much to do as far as customization goes. That's why I said, you know, customization because there's not much of it. You can choose your gender, male or female. You can choose your skin tone and you can also choose your eye color and your hair color and that's it. You can't choose hairstyle, you can't choose your clothing, you can't choose your height. I was hoping to make myself a little bit taller but that's not really an option. So we'll just keep it simple here, keep it basic. Uh, really keep it real since, you know, brown eyes, black hair is what I have in real life. So um, yeah, we'll go with this. Let's confirm and move on. And hopefully in the future we'll be able to, you know, do a little bit more customization with our main character but uh, this is what we got for now. Okay, Blue says, so your name's Tiger. That's got a nice ring to it. Thanks, man. Well, Tiger, buckle up. There's a huge team tournament right around the corner. Yes. The Pokemon Masters League, or PML for shirt. Or shirt. Or short. <laughs> Can't read, man. Yo, English is hard, guys. Yo, give me a break. Give me a break. Just let me be. It's one big festival for Pokemon trainers like us. Trainers from all over the world gather to form three teams of three and battle it out. Each trainer can only use one Pokemon though, so the real challenge is how well your team works together. <laughs> so we're gonna meet so many awesome trainers here, it's kind of crazy to think about. I know I'm excited. Come on. Well then, off we go to the world of Pokemon Masters. Here we go guys, let's jump in. So uh, the first chapter of this game is basically a tutorial, um, which is why I told people to skip ahead because it's really not that exciting, but um, things will actually go differently this time since the last time I played this. Uh, it took me a long time to complete some of the stages because I was super confused about what's going on, so things should be a lot more efficient <laughs> than last time. Okay, so we got Trista here who I called Fake uh, Nurse Joy, and I still stick by that because in my mind, in the world of Pokemon, there's only one true, real nurse, and that's Nurse Joy, alright? You guys understand if you're an OG fan, I'm sure. Okay, hello, nice to meet you. I'm Trista, the receptionist here at the Pokemon Masters League. Would you and Pikachu like to register to compete, Tiger? If so, you'll need one of these. So we got our Porygon here. I love it. <laughs> This is a Porifone. It's a multi-purpose information device that is an absolute must-have here on Pasio. So Pasio is the island that we're on in this game. Since team battles are the norm here at the PML, you'll need your Porifone to communicate with the other sync pairs on your team. Oops, I got ahead of myself. Sync pair is a special term we use here on Pasio to describe a single trainer Pokemon pair. Are you perhaps looking for a team? Yes, I am. 
understand. In that case, you're in luck. I just met a couple of other sync pairs who are searching for new teams as well. I'll introduce you. So, for my OG Pokemon fans, for my OG 150 fans or 151 fans, um, <laughs> you're gonna be pleasantly surprised to find out who these other sync pairs are. I know I was. I, I know I was for sure. Look at this. <laughs> Yo, it's our boy Brock and our girl Misty, man. Yo, so when I first got here, I was like, yo, it's gonna be some random people, like, it might not even be real characters, or maybe it's gonna be two new characters that I'm not familiar with from the new series, because I haven't really been keeping up with uh, the new generations recently for Pokemon, um, but nah, they brought back Brock and Misty, the OGs, I'm so happy about that, man, so freaking happy, okay, so, we heard you were looking for a team, too? Yeah. You look like you're raring to go, let's take on the PML together, Tiger. Sounds good to you, Misty? Ah, <laughs> uh, my girl Misty. Why not? It looks like he's got some fire in his eyes. Dude. Oh, I'm Misty, by the way. I know you're Misty. Let's get this tournament. Let's give this tournament our best shot. So, guys, if you're wondering why I'm reacting like this, Misty is, like, my OG anime crush, man. Like, obviously, I got some other ones now, Android 18 in particular from Dragon Ball, but Misty, like, when I was 6, 7, 8 years old, watching Pokemon for like the first time. I don't remember exactly when it was, but I was really young, right? She was like the first, you know, anime girl that I fell in love with. And you guys understand, okay? Don't pretend like you don't. If you're a weeb, if, you, if you're a huge anime fan, you got your anime waifus, and Misty is like one of the first ones for me, man. That's why she's, we've got such a special connection, you know? Uh, let's just give, let's give this tournament our best shot. Yo, I exposed myself so hard there. Okay, so we got Misty. Have you heard of the Kanto gym leader they call the Tomboyish Mermaid? That's me, Misty. Oh, I, I, I didn't even know there was voice acting. You know, the first time around, I just talked through everything. I didn't even realize they gave voice lines to these guys. Okay, we got Misty here, Tomboyish Mermaid. And I'm Brock, glad to be on your team. So I'm guessing Brock also has a voice line. My name's Brock. Hey. When it comes to rock hard willpower, nobody can beat me. <laughs> Rocks rock hard. Nice. Okay, uh, that's dope. I love that. So there's not like full voice acting in this game, obviously, but as you guys heard, um, apparently when you get new characters or summon new characters, I'm guessing, there'll, there'll be voice lines. And uh, every once in a while, these guys will have like a one-liner or like one word they say like, all right, or hello, or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> but there is a little bit of voice acting in this game. Uh, well, now that we're all together, why don't we head out to the city? <laughs> Lots of trainers like to gather around just outside the Pokemon Center. It shouldn't be too hard to find more teammates there. Here, take this, Tiger. Let's head out whenever you're ready. Okay, so we got a map, which basically just unlocks the first chapter of the story. Trouble in Centra City. Okay, so uh, all these guys have, like, explanation marks, which might make you think or lead you to believe that they have some quests for you, but from my experience, uh, all that means is that they just want to talk to you for a little bit. They have a few like lines of text and that's it. You don't really get anything from talking to them. So for now, what we're going to do is just jump into explore and go to the main story and get this tutorial started. And like I said, things should go a lot smoother than last time because I did struggle a bit on uh, some of the tutorial fights. Should be a lot better this time since I know what I'm doing in theory. This is Centra City, the biggest city on Pasio. You might be surprised to know that Pasio is a completely artificial island. Ooh. All right. <laughs> I'm talking like I didn't know this already. Uh, now then, I have a sync pair in mind that might be willing to join our team. So let's go look. Let's go look for them. <laughs> oh, are you talking about that girl from Unova? From Unova or Unova? I don't even know. I, I still don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, let me know in the comments down below, guys, if you do know. I think it's Unova. Unova. I don't know. Uh, I think I saw her in the square up ahead not too long ago. Will you please stop? It's against the rules to force a trainer to battle if they don't want to. Okay. I had a bit of an issue with this line because... Now, when you think about it, in Pokemon games, the rule is if your eyes meet, you have to battle, right? You don't have a choice. You can't You can't say, I don't want to battle. Like, if you see each other, your eyes meet, you gotta battle. There's an exclamation mark, you know? It, it's, it's the rule, man. But it, anyways, that's not important. Just something that came to mind that I'm thinking about. Uh, what's going on over there? I need to stop with all these little 
you know, getting sidetracked. Uh, sounds like trouble. Do you think they're okay? We should see if they need help. And it's our girl Cynthia and Rosa, guys. I'm sorry, but I just can't battle right now. My Pokemon needs to rest. She's worked hard enough for today. Hmm. Yeah, if you really want to battle, you'll have to challenge her another day. Street Thug. Forget that. You're battling me now, champion. Come on, I don't have all day. And Punk Girl. There's no way I'm passing up a chance like this. Come on, let's battle already. Hey, hey you two. Cut that out. Don't you see you're bothering them? <laughs> Brock? Misty? You look like you can use a hand, Rosa. Don't worry. We'll take care of these guys. Who are you? If you want to start something, you got it. We'll make you eat dirt. <laughs> we'll make you eat dirt. Okay, great. So that was the first little story sequence. There's no battle there. Um, there's obviously, like most gacha games, there's uh, little story parts, but also like fighting parts. So that was like a story sequence. And now there's two battles in this one. As you can see, it says two battles on top, or it did say that. And we got our team here, our squad of me, my turquoise jumpsuit thing, and Misty and Brock. Watch it. Yo, check out her teeth, man. Like, are those real or is she wearing like, Big vampire fans, fans, fangs. <laughs> Man, I am totally off today. I should just stop talking. Come on, you guys know the rules, don't you? If two trainers' eyes meet, they have to battle. That's what I'm saying. If your eyes lock, you have to battle. There's no like, I don't want to fight right now. No, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta fight, man. You gotta battle. Uh, we fight who we want. If you get in our way, we'll fight you too. All right. So first tutorial fight should be okay. Should be, should be pretty smooth. I'm just curious, like, where did those two random girls, those two cheerleaders on the side come from? Because they weren't even part of this. Were they just, like, random girls in the street that, you know, wanted to fight? <laughs> Alright, so you choose your attack, and then you choose the target, and that's pretty much all there is to it. And there's a little meter at the bottom, and you have to use the meter to use attacks. And I think stronger attacks, obviously, will use more meter. Um, and you want to choose type advantage, but we can't do that right now, so we just attack the... Um, oh, I totally forgot the candle Pokemon. My bad, guys. Like I said, I haven't been keeping up too much with the newer generations recently. I'll get a lot better with that, obviously. Um, but yeah, we, we killed the, the candle Pokemon. I forgot its name. Um, and let's kill Pidgey with the Pikachu here. Thundershock. Thundershock, come on. Here we go, super effective, all done. So, <laughs> I know it's hard to believe, but that was actually a lot smoother than the first time I played this tutorial. All right, like, <laughs> I was so confused the first time, I was like, what's going on? Okay, it was just a bad matchup. It's gonna take a lot more than that to keep us from battling the champion. Okay, so that was our first fight, guys of this game, and uh, lots more to come, obviously. Street Thug, now scram! We came here to fight Cynthia, and we're not leaving till we do. What are you getting in our way for? Come at me. These blockheads won't even be a good warm-up, but if they want a whooping, a whooping they'll get. <laughs> I love this writing, man. It's so, it's so corny. It's so corny, but that's what I love about it. Okay, um, I think this is the one where we use sync moves, or, they, or is it the one where we learn about type advantage? Uh, oh, okay, every pair has a type that it's weak against. Attack with moves that match its weakness type to inflict double the damage. Cool. Alright, so we choose Marill, and then we attack with Pikachu. Thundershock. Pretty standard of Pokemon games. Obviously, the type matching is huge. Um, and then we'll use Brock for Drifloon, or Onix for Drifloon. You know what to do. So I actually really enjoy this style of, um, of game um, because it's not like completely turn-based. There's some like active components to it. So it's kind of like a combination between um, active and turn-based, I guess. Uh, very similar to some of the Final Fantasy games out there. If you guys are Final Fantasy fans, you have played like Final Fantasy IV, for example. Uh, I think Final Fantasy IV has this exact mechanic where you're waiting for your attack to recharge. Um, before you can use it, so it's not like completely turn-based, but you also have to uh, kind of decide like the best time to use each move or each attack. Uh, okay, we leveled up. There we go. We went from level one to level five. I'm even 
even more and so did Brock, and so did Misty. Or I guess rather the Pokemon leveled up, not the trainers. I mean, they're one and the same, I guess. Okay, so we got 30 of these little gems, which are used for summoning. And we got this little map, which is, I believe, for more story, to like unlock more of the story. And uh, we got some other items that I think are used for... Uh, oh, for learning moves. Okay, cool. And this is for using... Used for learning moves and passive skills. Okay, so they're all some kind of training item. Not really sure uh, how to use them or what moves we can learn right now, but that's not important. Okay, we'll find that out later. Okay, Cynthia and Rosa. I can't believe we lost to you bozos. Arr, you'll pay for this. I think Street Thug might be my favorite character so far. <laughs> nice timing, you guys. Cynthia and I were having a chat. Nice chat before those two started harassing us. I get it now. But that was that's what was going on. All in all, I'm glad nothing bad happened. <laughs> oh, I should introduce you two. Tiger, this is Rosa. Uh, she's a famous trainer from the Unova region. You know, I'm gonna go with Unova, unless someone tells me otherwise. Okay. Hi, Rosa here. Nice to meet you, Tiger. We were looking for you because we wanted to talk to you, but. Imagine our surprise when we saw you with the Sinnoh Champion. Who would have thought you'd be here too? <laughs> ah, so you've heard of me then. You're correct, I'm Cynthia. Lovely to meet you all. I'm flattered you think so highly of me. Thank you. Thanks for helping us back there. I really appreciate it. You especially, Tiger. That was a magnificent battle. I sense a great deal of potential in you. <laughs> if there are any other trainers like you here competing in the PML, I'm even starting... I'm even more excited for things to get started. Well... I'll be Next time we cross path with, paths with one another, we should have a Pokemon battle. Yes. Yeah, I don't know if I'm ready for that. Absolutely. Take care, Cynthia. Bye. And she gone. There she goes. Look at you, Tiger. You actually managed to impress the Cynthia. Good job. But she was right to be impressed. You were great in battle, Tiger. Right. We had something we wanted to talk to you about, Rosa. We're looking for people to join our team for the PML. What do you think? Ah, so that's why you came to find me. I'm so flattered. <laughs> Look at her face. She's adorable. <laughs> but first things first, we gotta have a Pokemon battle. A battle should teach me all I need to know about you, Tiger. Show me what you got. Okay, so we're battling Rosa now. And once we beat her, spoilers, we can acquire her and uh, her Snivy. Or the Snivy. I've actually never seen anybody or heard anybody pronounce that name. I've only seen it written down. So I'm not really sure if it's Snivy or Snivy. I am terrible at pronunciations, guys, in case you didn't know. <laughs> English is hard, dude. English is so hard. To be fair, it is my second language, technically. I mean, I've been in Canada for 18 years now, but I still, you know, grew up, started with Mandarin, so... That's my excuse. English is my second language. <laughs> Sync move unlocked. Sync moves are powerful attacks capable of doing massive damage to your opponents. Every time you use a sync move, your when you use a move, your sync uh, move countdown goes down. Okay, so our sync move countdown at the bottom, and uh, once we use seven moves, we can use our sync move. Okay, cool. Uh, let's attack Drifloon here, and um, we'll attack. Uh, uh, oh, let's just thunder shock him again. Kill him. And then we'll attack with Brock, or Onyx rather. And... Oof. Ouch. And let's go... Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter who we use. Um, Brock Throw, I guess? Alright, so Snivy, Snivy, Rosa is using her Sync move now. Grass Sync Beam. So every gacha game has to have some kind of like cool big animation, you know what I mean? Oh my god, much, that did so much damage. Um, so apparently the sync moves are where the big animations are. And yo, this Nivea is so strong, what the heck. Alright, so now we can use our sync move. Let's actually use Brock's. I saw it in another video and I think it looks the best. It's the coolest one out of all three. Check this out. Ch check out Brock. <laughs> Yo, I love Brock, man. This brings me back. This brings me way back to like when I was like under 10 years old. Um, that's awesome. 
forgot how much I love the OG Pokemon. Uh, like the series, the anime, the, the OG games. Um, I think the one I played the most actually was probably Pokemon Emerald. Um, I did play like a little bit of blue, a little bit of red uh, back in the day, but I think Emerald was the one that I spent the most time on. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm old. <laughs> I'm really old. That's what that's uh, that's what that tells you. Okay, we're all level six now. We got some more gems. We got some more items. Super sweet. Okay. All right. Now we have another story seg uh, sequence where we can finally get Rosa. That was impressive, Tiger. You're way better than I expected. I'd be more than happy to join your team if, you, if you'll if you have me. Of course I'll have you. Uh, you didn't change your minds, did you? Nah. See, <laughs> they give you two options here, which is like, not very, like there's no point because it's literally an illusion. They both say the same thing. One says, nope, glad to have you on board. And the other one says, nah, we'll be counting on you. Literally the same thing. That's okay, we'll choose the first one. Doesn't really matter. Yay, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I promise I'll give it, a, I'll give it my all. Oh, speaking of which, I should introduce you all to my new friend, Barry. We met here on Passio. Yeah. Okay, that sounds good. As they say, the more the merrier. Hey. Where is this Barry? The last time I saw him, he didn't. He said he'd be heading to the beach for a while. Right. Good choice. Uh, I can take you there if you want. Come on, let's go, Tiger. Sweet. Got some gems. Got Rosa. I'll stay quiet so you can hear her voice line. Awesome. And she's our first 5 star, and I think 5 star is the highest rarity in this game, um, but since she's free, I'm guessing she's not, like, amazing. But we'll see, we'll see. Anichiwa, bonjour, pleasure to meet you, I'm Professor Bellis. I'm doing research on sync pairs here on Passio. You must be Tiger, right? Aha, Brock and Misty mentioned that they'd team up with a promising young trainer. That hat of yours fits their description. So, how are you liking the team battling style on the island so far? Um, let's go with it's really fun this time. Last time I said it's still a, in trial and error, but I think I'm getting the hang of it, so... Uh, it's fun now. It's fun now. <laughs> Excellent day! I hope you continue to have a great time here. We already know that sync pairs have incredible potential, and there's still so much we've yet to discover. Oui, oui. Next time my research yields some exciting results, I'll be sure to let you know, okay? Oh my, is that the time? I need to do some shopping and hurry back to the lab. By the way, the shops here have all sorts of handy stock items in stock. Why don't you go have a look? <laughs> I suppose I'll leave you to it now. Uh, I'd better be off. Uh, I still don't know what language this is. It's Dosvidania, I think. Dosvidania? Do doesn't really matter. I don't know what it means. Good luck. <laughs> Anybody that does know, let me know in the comments if you guys speak that language. Uh, enlighten me, enlighten me, because I feel like I'm very um, uneducated on languages right now. So uh, yeah, let me know, what language is that? Welcome, welcome, today is our grand opening, so feel free to stop by and browse through our stock anytime. Okay, at the shop you can sell for new teammates, exchange your items, and acquire all sorts of useful things. First, let's use Sync Pair Scout to reach out to some new teammates. Yeah, that's a lie because there aren't some new teammates. There's only one new teammate, and that's this girl right here, the Mill Tank girl. Got her name. I think it's. Uh, uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to say, like think of it before she actually comes out. Um, is this uh, Nidia or something like that, or Lily, or, or uh, what? What was her name? Uh, I'll go with Lydia. <laughs> Nowhere close. Where did I get Lydia from? It's Whitney. Okay, uh, her name's Whitney, and her Pokemon's Miltank. I'm a gym leader. Uh, ain't, I a cutie? Wait, ain't I a cutie? Try not to get too infatuated. Okay, well, you look like you're 12, so I definitely will not get too infatuated. Uh, you found a new teammate. Scout again to reach out to more trainers and build your dream team. Collect your bonus level up manual by visiting your present box. Uh, level up your sync moves when you scout out a new sync pair that you already or, or a sync pair you already have their sync move levels up So that's the dupe system right there Once a sync move reaches is level 5 max you'll receive a power up with the same number of stars as the duplicate sync pair instead Cool. Welcome. 
you can make changes to your team right over here. Why don't you try doing it? So they're gonna make me um, take out Misty, which is kind of sad because I want to keep her, but um, on, you know, can you do? The same pair you selected is now a part of your team. Perfect, you successfully edited your team. Feel free to use team editing to your advantage whenever you meet new sync pairs. Thanks for, by. Thanks for stopping by, I look forward to your next visit. Sweet. And we got our 100 gems as a login bonus. And there's the news, nothing new there. Uh, so let's collect our gems real quick. And we still don't have enough to actually do any summons because you actually need 300 gems to do a single in this game. So uh, I think what we're actually going to do is, well, let's talk to Rosa. Let's see what she has to say. Yes. I love going out to big open fields to play with my Pokemon. Can we, re we can relax and soak up the sun. And as a bonus, the photosynthesis process seems to perk up my grass type Pokemon. <laughs> Being there always makes me feel good too. It's beneficial in all kinds of ways. See what I mean? Like... <laughs> It, it makes you think they have actually something useful to say to you, and that's what you end up getting. Okay, let's let's see what Punk Girl has to say. Hey, ooh, a new phase. I don't think we met before. We literally just fought, yo. Like, you literally were just... Okay, anyways. I don't think we've met before, probably, most likely, sure. <laughs> I'm just your average Punk Girl, but it seems like Fate wanted us to meet. Well, nice to meet you. Ooh, you got a Pokemon with you, right? Uh, we should, like, hang out. I've got nothing better to do. I'm good, I'm good. It's okay. I uh, appreciate the offer. I appreciate the sentiment. Um, let's change up our team real quick. I'm gonna put... Uh, let's put Snivy. Or Snivy. Or... Uh, I still don't know what it's, how it's pronounced. Uh, but let's put Rosa in instead of Miltank Girl. And we'll keep Brock, because I like him. And we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. The reason I'm not putting Misty back in is because uh, her Starmie can't evolve anymore, right? So just in case Brock can still, you know, evolve his Onyx into Steelix, I want to see that happen. But let's actually... Oh, Sync Pair Stories unlocked. Cool. Choose a Sync Pair Story to go on an adventure um, and let and get to know your fellow teammates. Cool. For some sync pairs, leveling up can unlock special area info for evolving Pokemon. However, evolution shards and evolution crystals are required. Okay, so that's how you evolve Pokemon. Complete this special sync pair story to evolve your Pokemon and make this sync pair even stronger. Ooh, that's cool. What stories do we have? We have one for each person. That's awesome. I kind of want to evolve Rose's Snivy. Snivy? Damn it. Um, but I don't... You know what, let's go with the main story first. Alright, we'll come back to the sync pair stories in the next video. How about that? In the next video, we'll do Rosa's story. Alright, chapter 2. New friends, new foes. The search for Barry. I also want to get enough crystals in this video to do at least do like one single. Do our first real summon. Because for the last summon, you literally get the same trainer every single time. So it's not really like an actual summon. Um, this way, Tiger. Barry should be up, should be just up ahead. <laughs> Hurry up, I want to introduce you all. Hey. Okay, okay, hold your horsey. <laughs> oh, Misty, so funny. Hold your horsey. What kind of person is, th is this Barry anyway? Hmm, mm, I think I describe Barry as a pretty straightforward, pure-hearted, nice guy sort of trainer. Ooh. So, uh, the kind of guy you would friend zone is what I read from that. <laughs> He's always so earnest and sincere. I feel like I could learn a lot from him. Oh, and on top of that, he's also a really great Pokemon trainer. Well, that's good. He's got that going for him. Even Cynthia speaks highly of him. Whoa, Whoa really? I'm really looking I'm looking forward to meeting this Barry now. Right. Well, come on then. Let's hurry. Okay. Okay, we got 200 crystals now. We need 100 more. An update for the game is available. Restarting the game. Oh. I guess I'll be back. All right, so we just installed a seven megabyte update. I have no idea what it added to the game, but let's keep going to the next stage, Mask Challengers. Uh, Rosa's Pokemon uses grass type moves, so having her on your team will give you an advantage. Good to know. Uh, well, she is already on the team. What do you mean? Okay, let's go. <laughs> let's get it, let's get it. Ooh, big man. Swimmer. I am good at breaststrokes, freestyle, butterfly, and of course, Pokemon battles. Damn, I've never seen a swimmer this jacked. Like, swimmers usually are slim, right? Like, they're muscular, but they're not that big. Damn. Alright. 
How does this man stay afloat? <laughs> That's crazy. You are challenged by Swimmer Howard. I like it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Alright, so um, I guess we'll go with Snivy here. Energy Ball, and we'll go with Pikachu here. Thunder Shock. And go back to him. Here we go. Easy. All done. And I do like the fact they highlight the weaknesses for you just in case, like you're not super familiar, maybe uh, you haven't played in a long time, or like Pokemon in general, maybe you haven't played a Pokemon game in a long time, or maybe you just forgot. Um, you know, it just makes it a lot easier for people who are not as hardcore fans of the Pokemon games in general, right? Uh, did I just lose a Pokemon battle even though I'm so good at them? <laughs> Fine, I'll swim with a Wilmer on my back for now, from now on for training. Damn. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the average weight of Wilmers are like, is like 500 pounds, so that's impressive. That's impressive. Is that Barry? What a... Oh, it's not Barry. I was gonna say, like, what a pimp. Masked man. Sync pair alert, sync pair alert. If we take your strong Pokemon, we will get stronger too. Oh, Let's begin. you there, hand over your partner Pokemon. Are they like the Team Rocket of this game, of Passio? Let's begin. You are challenged by Masked Man. Okay, Masked Man. Showtime. Showtime. All right, here we go. I'm gonna use Energy Ball here. I'm gonna use Thunder Shock. And uh, I guess I will just wait a little bit. Um, for the energy ball to re uh, replenish. There we go. Done. Easy. I'm so good at this game. <laughs> so good at this game. Marill fainted. You defeated Mass Man. Victory. Pretty proud of myself. Not gonna lie. That was a hard-fought victory. Well earned. Do we not prepare well enough? Retreat! Sweet. Uh, I'm even more Yay! I feel so much stronger! Alright, what is that? 230 gems now, I think? So we just need one more. No. Two more. Two more stories. To uh, finally do a single. Welcome! Since you're a first-time customer, we'd like to offer you a training machine free of charge. I'll take that, okay. I like free. Uh, used for learning moves and passive skills. <laughs> By the way, you can use training machines to, you guessed it, train with your partner Pokemon to improve their strength. <laughs> Why don't you try using this training machine to teach your Pokemon a new, your Pikachu a new move? That sounds good. Okay, here we go, Pikachu, let's learn a new move. Uh, confirm that you have the required items. And what move are we learning? Thunderbolt. Cool. Use a once a move is learned, it's ready to be used in battle. Uh, try learning some moves with their favorite sync pairs. Cool. So cool. <laughs> so cool. Uh, your Pikachu looks stronger than ever. <laughs> yep, that training machine seems to have done the trick. Uh, I'll have to keep plenty in stock. Come again soon. Sweet. So our Pikachu has two new our Pikachu has two moves now. Okay, let's keep going with chapter two. Uh gotta get some more gems. Gotta do our single before we get out of here. I'm not leaving until we get to do that single. Hmm, I wonder what the deal is with those weird mass trainers. I've heard some weird some rumors. Apparently a bunch of trainers wearing masks have been running around trying to steal people's Pokemon. Okay, so they are the team rocket, basically. Um team team mask. Seriously, it seems like I run into jerks like that everywhere I go. Next time, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna let them off so easily. Hey, I've been waiting for you guys for for wait, I've been waiting for you guys forever. There's Barry. Uh, you're those team break guys, aren't you? Play dumb and you'll pay a fine. Huh? Team break? What's that? Oh, is that you, Barry? Huh? Wait, hold on. This guy is this is the guy uh, we were t looking for. Why is he yelling at us? Hey. Barry, it's me, Rosa. Here we go. 
Here we go, Pepelope. Let's show them what we're made of. Eek, it doesn't look like we're getting through to him at all. Wait, if they're actually friends, how does he not just recognize her from her face? It's not like she's wearing a mask. I'm confused. Tiger, it looks like we're gonna have to battle him. Okay, I guess we, we're gonna have to battle him. I thought they were friends though. That's really weird. But I will take those gems for sure. Um, recommended type is grass and uh, electric. Electric. Uh, cool. Okay. We got those. We got the Pikachu. We got the Snivy, Snivy, and uh, Brock will just chill out in the corner. I guess <laughs> he's not really doing much here. All right. Energy ball, boom. Give me oh, uh, we have Thunderbolt. Okay, I'm gonna save that Thunderbolt for uh, the other spiel. Yo. This Piplup is so strong, what the heck? Uh, let's actually finish him off with the Brock. With the Onyx. Okay, and... Hmm. Yo, they're getting so... M what the heck? They're getting so many buffs! Yo, I should have I should have swapped Onyx out because we're gonna get killed by the water now. Oh. Oh, that was fine. Okay, never mind. I thought I thought it was gonna do so much more damage. Uh, okay. Uh, let's go with Thunderbolt here. There we go. Um. Yo, why is that Piplup so strong? What the heck? Uh, is there is there a heal? Oh, potion. Um. Yeah, I was just about to use a potion. Okay, I guess we're not using a potion then. Wow, it's not going so well. It's not. I, I think our sync attack will save us uh, in a second. Um, but it's been kind of rough. It's been it's been it's been rough going so far. So far, guys. <laughs> Damn. All right, time to launch the sync move. And it is called Thunder of Newfound Passion. All right, this better one hit, one shot him. This better one shot this stupid penguin. There we go. Yo, this guy has so much HP. Finally. Wait, but so that was definitely the most difficult battle so far. But you know what? We we did it. We we handled it, handled it okay. Do we have to revive our Pokemon after battle, like if they faint, or are they just do they just come back to life? Defeat Team Brick or Brick? Did I say Brick or Brick the last time? What just happened? Did I really just lose to Team Brick? Barry, listen to me. It's me, Rosa. Look. Huh? Huh? Wait, is that you, Rosa? Hold on. So you guys aren't Team Break? What are you talking about, dude? Like, how did this guy not recognize her face? Like, did they brainwash him? <sighs> no, it took you long enough to realize. You nearly scared the living daylights out of me. Uh, <laughs> what? Oh, I'm sorry about that. Guess I jumped to the conclu to the wrong conclusion. But on the bright side, I'm glad I didn't lose to Team Break. Hey. Wait, Rosa, you know who I'm talking about, right? They're those... <laughs> English. Suspicious weirdos that wear goofy masks. Yeah, we just dealt with a few ourselves. Why do you think they're causing uh, all this trouble? They're a real nuisance, if you ask me. Huh? Oh, so they came after you too, huh? Man, what is their problem? Hey. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, what are you guys doing here? Did you come to take down, take down Team Break? Yes. I almost forgot. Uh, we actually came here looking for you. Tiger, I'd like to introduce you to my friend Barry. <laughs> He's a famous trainer from the Sinnoh region. He can be a little bit impulsive at times, but other than that, Barry's a really dependable guy. So Barry, we've actually been on the lookout for sync pairs who might want to join our team for the PML. What do you think? Uh, would you be interested in joining Tiger's team? Yo, join my team, man. Come on. For the PML, I really want to, but Team Break are still out there. 
I heard there's a spot nearby where they like to hang out. Ah, oh, man, should I join up with you guys or deal with Team Break? Hmm, I wonder what we should do. What do you think, Tiger? <laughs> let's help out Barry or let's go after them together. What's the difference? Different words, same meaning. Okay, let's help let's let's help out Barry. Seems like a nice guy. Um, I like that plan. Come on, Barry, let's go take those take down those team break minis. Seriously? Alright, if we can take uh, those clowns down, I'll join your team. Alright. But like I was saying before, I heard Team Break's been using a cave nearby as their hideout. Right. Come on, I'll race you there. Last one to the cave is a rotten egg. Last one to the cave is a rotten egg. Great. Hey, I'm Barry from Twin Leaf Town. And if you're like, where's that? I'm finding you 10 million. Where's that? <laughs> 10 million what? <laughs> okay. He looks familiar though. I feel like I've seen him in something. Um, thanks for playing Pokemon Masters. Tell us what you think of the game. Uh, uh, maybe later, maybe later. It's fun though. I will give this game a good rating, that's for sure. Uh, but not right now. We're filming a video right now. Okay. I think once we finish this fight, we should be able to do our single. And I think that's gonna be the video. Uh, I feel eyes on me, could it be? You must be those meddling kids I keep hearing about. Whoa, hold the phone. You got yourself some mighty fine Pokemon there, don't you? Right <laughs> I'll take care of you. Wait, I'll take all of you out and take your Pokemon while I'm at it. Get them. I like that little animation though. It's pretty dope. Whoever, yo, whoever's the, you know, design team or design graphics guy for Team Break, they're doing a good job. All right, um, they're all weak against Grass. Okay. Well, I guess the other two are just useless. They're just chill out, because I want to save all the energy for Snivy here. Snivy. You know, I'm, I'm going to stop trying to say his name. I'm just going to find out for myself for sure after this video. And I'll never say his name wrong ever again. Uh, oh, uh, Thundershock. Starly. That's Starly, right? Or is that his evolved form? It's paralyzed, dope. Okay, let's kill him. And then... Uh, we have to wait for Energy Ball to... Fill up again. Um, we'll just wait, we'll just wait. Cause I don't, I don't really wanna waste meter on the Brock, on the, on the Onyx. Here we go! Nice. You defeated Mask Man. Nice. So I'm definitely getting the hang of it. Um, you know, <laughs> like I said, it's a lot better than the last time uh, I made a video about this game because that time I was like literally had no idea what was going on. Uh, darn it, you'll pay for this. And this time I do have a little bit of an idea of what's going on. Still not the full picture, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Hmm? Somebody's in our hideout. What was the what was the lookout doing? What is going on with this man's face? Well, well, looks like we have some fine specimens here. Thank you for raising our Pokemon with so much love and care. We'll be taking them now. That's what you think. Now that it that guy, that dude is the biggest creeper I've ever met. Alright, so we got Scientist Dude. And his little cronies. Okay, uh, Pikachu is gonna put in some work here, guys. Oh, he's not dead. Uh, okay, Thundershock again. Let's go with Energy Ball here. And let's go with uh, Thunder Ball in a second when we have enough uh, charge at the bottom here. I wonder if I can just kill him with. Hmm. Nah, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go Thunderbolt. Okay, and will Rock Throw do the job? 
Come on, Onyx. Ah, oh, you trash. <laughs> Onyx, why is so trash? A Thunderbolt should do the job. There we go. All right, guys. So that should put us over the top for uh, the single we're about to do. Hopefully, you pull a five star. Fingers crossed. Um, I don't even know what the rates are in this game, actually. God, they're too strong. Strategic retreat. We'll steal some stronger Pokemon and get you next time. Sweet. Level 9 Pikachu, level 9 Onyx, and level 9 Pokemon whose name I cannot pronounce. Dope. Alright. Let's pop out of here. And go over to the store and do our single, guys. Welcome. Yeah, we have almost exactly enough. Uh, let's check out these rates. Let's check out these rates. Um, so the thing that kind of sucks is that they have this discounted single every day, but you can only do it with paid gems. So they kind of like, you know, if you want the discount, you have to spend money on this game, which I feel like is a little bit scummy, but I mean, it is what it is. Our offering rate. Um, so the five stars here, a 7% rate for five stars. That's actually not too bad. 20% uh, for four stars and 73% for three stars. As far as five stars go, we have Chris with Totodile, Brendan with Trico, Phoebe with Dusclops, Olivia with Lycan, Lycan Rock? Ly Lycan Rock or Lycan Rock? I don't know. Karen with Houndoom, uh, Lerole with Lapras, Oh no, that's, that's four star. Okay, so Karen, Olivia, Phoebe, Brendan, and Chris are the five stars. And uh, there's a lot of other four stars, three stars. I'm not gonna go through those, but okay, let's do our single, guys. Let's see what happens. Fingers crossed, we pull something good. My first ever legit single, legit summon in this game. I even know what the animations are, to be honest. Like, do you get a better animation if you pull something good, or are they all the same animation? Okay. Liza and Luna Stone. Of course we got a three star. What else is new when it comes to me and summoning on gacha games? Hey, she looks pretty cool though. She looks pretty cool. I'll take that. I'll take that. Uh, my first psychic type. Yeah, okay. So we have a psychic type now. Super sweet. Let's actually throw her on a team. Uh, let's, take, let's take Brock out, man. He's not doing much right now. <laughs> Although I don't think Liza will do much either for the current chapter. Um, so maybe we should actually put in... I don't know, maybe we'll put in this guy instead. We'll put in Barry, but Barry's not really effective against them either because they mostly use um, Pokemon... Like the, the enemies mostly use Pokemon that are weak against Grass and uh, Electric, right? So, hmm, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Okay, let's go with Piplup. Sure, let's go with this team. Okay. And let's jump back in. Let's do a few more, maybe. Or whatever the end of the second chapter is. And then we'll call it a video, guys. Hope you're enjoying this so far. Uh, I really like this game. I really like the battle mechanics. I love the... You know, it <laughs> so the story is cheesy, obviously. It's super corny. But at the same time, I do really like you know, the endearing part of... Uh, Pokemon story, so I, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure how you guys feel, but um, everything about this game does seem to scream polish. Like, I mean, it's officially a licensed Pokemon game, so you kind of expect it to be quality, but um, this game definitely has met and exceeded all my expectations for it so far, and uh, I do see myself playing this game a lot in the coming days. So, hope you guys are ready for those videos, because there's a lot coming up. Um, all right, let's go with energy ball again um oh we can actually have we actually have type advantage here with uh with the bubble against the geo dudes here can you use the can you use bubble though can, can you can you use bubble yeah thank you um that did like no damage what the heck all right all right so now we know piplup trash like look at this he has type advantage, right? He, does, he should have type advantage at least. Water against rock? He should, no? Am I am I crazy? 
Hiplop should definitely Hiplop should definitely have type advantage against Geodude, no? Yo, I feel like I, I I feel like I'm not wrong here, but maybe I am crazy. Like <laughs> it's been a while since I've played an actual Pokemon game, so maybe I'm just really, really uh rusty, but I I swear he should have type advantage. Okay, anyways. Maybe I'm exposing myself, my lack of knowledge. It's been a long time though, guys. That's my excuse. It's been a really long time. Okay, you defeated Mass Man. All right, down you go, Mass Man. <sighs> Not even my glorious muscles could help me overcome this? <laughs> Yo, the sad music that plays when you win. <laughs> like, what is this music? It <laughs> Ah, uh, jeez, this is the pits. Our eyes just met. You want to get past me? Be my guest. Oh. Well, I like to say that, but I should at least do my job, right? Hand over your Pokemon. Now, for a second, I was like, should, is she just going to let us go? Can we just walk by? Like, You're challenged by masked woman. You know, that girl looks very familiar. I think I've seen her somewhere before. I think I've seen her somewhere before. All right, so apparently only grass has advantage. Um, not even Pikachu has advantage apparently. So these guys are water types, right? Which should make this effective, and it's not. Okay, it's not super effective. I thought it would be, but okay. I mean. Okay, I, I guess we'll just go with the symbol. So whatever the symbol on top is, that's the effective type. And everything else is just normal or not effective. Apparently. I, I feel like I'm right, though. I feel like I'm right. Maybe I need to do some more research and confirm. Um, but I definitely think that Electric... I, I, you know what? I am sure that Pikachu should be effective or super effective against these guys right now. But I don't know what's going on right now. Like, I'm all confused. Things are all messed up right now. <laughs> Um, let's use Bubble. Apparently it's AoE, so we'll use Bubble and probably finish off the Spiel here. There we go. And then, uh, once Energy Ball comes back, we should be good to go. Actually, we can just, we can just use Thunder Shock. That should finish the job. Nice. Brillish painted. Alright. Well, I did my job as, as well as I could. Nobody can say I didn't try. Boom, boom. Level up. Level up. Everybody levels up. What is going on with this music right now? This does not fit, like, a cave, which is what we're supposed to be in, right? Friend or foe? We found you, Team Break. Yeah. What? Hey. Barry, wait. Mm -hmm. He's not wearing a mask. He might not be part of Team Break at all. <laughs> so basically, if you're a bad guy in this in this world or on this island, uh, all you gotta do is take off your mask, and nobody will suspect you of being a bad guy. So it, it, it's as easy as that. <laughs> He's not wearing a mask. He must be a good guy. I'm. Uh, I guess I jumped to the wrong conclusion again. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's alright, no harm done. I'm Paulo. As a Pokemon trainer, I can't just sit by and let Team Break get away with what they're doing. I came here to crush them once and for all. Yeah. I'm here for the same thing. This is one of their hideouts, right? Hmm. Yeah, it's only your guard down. They could t attack us from anywhere. <laughs> well, look at what we got here. Didn't think we'd get suckers showing up on their own. Let's teach them a le teach them a lesson. There you are. Let's take them out, Tiger. Alright, I think this is, like, gonna be a boss fight. Yeah, there we go. So we got this boss fight, and this is probably gonna be the end of the chapter. So, um... I guess it's as good of a team as I can build right now for this fight. Um... Yeah, Brock is not gonna help us much, so... I don't know, though. Piplup is really weak. 
Diplop is really weak. <sighs> but Mill Tank is level one, so uh... you know, let's go with Brock. We'll go with Brock. Let me show you my rock hard willpower. <laughs> Let me show you my rock hard willpower. That's Brock's line. It it fits him so well, but like in the worst way. <laughs> Oh my god. Yo, game creators had some fun with that. I can promise you that. That that, that was not an accident. Okay, so we got um, the swimmer dudes first, and then we get to the other guys. Okay, so uh, let's just use Thunderbolt. Knock him out. Damn. Yo, Pikachu is freaking OP. Ooh, so close. Uh, rock throw. Let's finish him off with the rock throw. Ooh, he's poisoned. Mm, let's use this. X special attack all. Nice. Thunderbolt. GG. Thank you. And we gotta save the meter now for the grass attacks. Although I don't know if he's gonna make it. He's poisoned and they keep targeting him. So uh, this could be a little bit rough. Can you please die? Oh, damn, okay. Um, I should attack the other guy actually. I should attack the other guy and taken him, up, taken him up first. He's about to get his sync attack, which is not a good thing. Ooh, okay. He's dead, so that just leaves this guy. Oh, there's more! Ah, oh, crap. I should have saved that Pikachu attack. I, I, I thought it was just this guy. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Um, okay, let's give him a nice Thunder Shock here. And for potion, can we use potion on other, like our allies or only ourselves? Uh, oh, 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 Snivy, Snivy. Oh, crap. Yeah, this is not gonna be good. Potion, 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 potion. Potion, come on. No. No. Okay, um. Uh, let's use Pikachu's Sync move. I don't know about this, guys. I don't know about this one. We might die, which is gonna be really sad, actually. <laughs> oh. Damn. Okay. Rock throw. We're good. Yo, that did a lot more damage than I was expecting. This Pikachu is actually mad strong from what I can tell, um, which is nice because that's like the Pokemon they give you. Like that's the that's your main Pokemon, right? That's good. That's good. I like that. It's level 11 now. Onyx is 10. And nice. We did it, guys. We did it. All right. Uh, a new friendly. Uh, you know what? Let's let's do this one too. Let's do this one too. Thanks. Hey, nice battling back there. Thanks to you guys who were able to chase off those goons in no time. Yeah? No sweat. Tiger and I came here for that exact reason. Okay. Uh, I feel way better now that we took care of those team break guys. Guess it's time to focus on the PML. Hang on, this is your team for the PML? Yep, that's right. Are you thinking about competing too? <laughs> hey, why don't you join our team, Paulo? I thought it was three on three. Like, we already have, what? One, two, three, four four people on the team like how can we add another one i don't understand are there subs can we do subs um hey why don't you join our team paulo you seem pretty cool i bet you'd be an awesome teammate Aww. no thanks i think i'll pass oh ouch i'm actually thinking of putting together my own team to enter, enter the tournament so he's basically saying you guys are trash i don't want to you know i don't want to be on your team you guys suck <laughs> What a douche. Um, uh, come on. So my gameplay recording just cut out for a second because apparently the file was too big, but we're back in business. We're good to go. Let's keep going. If you're looking for more teammates, 
you might want to try the volcano area. I hear it's a popular sp spot for training Pokemon or for doing training exercises with your Pokemon. Seriously? Dude, thanks for the info. Let's go, Tiger. It's I'm finding you if you're late. Why is this man always finding me? Dude. <laughs> is that like how he makes his money? He just like finds people? You can now exchange items for additional move uh, gauge slots um, in the shop menu. Extend your move gauge to... Is it gauge or gauge? That, that's another word that like always gets me, man. I think it's gauge. Extend your move gauge to its maximum size. Cool. Um, how do I do that exactly? You there. Hey you, you in the shoddy hat. You have got some serious nerve while sitting here wearing an eyesore like that. <laughs> this man's wanted to talk. What are, they, what are those glasses? What are those glasses? Hey. Hang on a minute, you're in Lear, right? I don't appreciate you and your cronies ganging up on my friend Tiger. Thanks, Brock. Got your back, man. Uh, apparently I was wrong. It's not just him. The whole group is a dingy eyesore. You certainly don't belong on any island I own. You own Passio? Who are you anyways? You own Passio? Did you just... I can't believe there are still people on this island who don't know who I am. Hear my words. I am Lear. It was I who created Passio, the magnificent artificial island you now stand on, and I who founded the Pokemon Masters League. Wow, I didn't know the founder of the PML was such a dick. <laughs> and it is I who shall be its champion. <laughs> and you would do well to remember my name. Uh, yeah? uh, not like anybody asked, but I'm Rachel. See you around. <laughs> Sawyer, anyone who disrespects the young master will have a word, will have to answer to me. Ha, <laughs> uh -huh, don't bother. I doubt these animateurs will be around long enough to cause us any trouble. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha. What a douchebag. Can't believe he just insulted us like that out of nowhere. Don't let jerks like him get to you, alright Tiger? <laughs> You've already shown me that you and your Pokemon have got some promise in this tournament. Right. So come on, it's time to take our next step toward competing in the PML. Dope. Missions unlocked, you now have access to the missions menu on your Pori phone. Don't forget to claim your rewards whenever you complete a mission. You have a new mission. Check it out on your Pori phone. Alright, what is this mission we got going on? Ooh, we got some uh, we got some gems. I like that. Yo, this game seems a little bit stingy, I'm not gonna lie, with the with the gems, man. Like those missions only give us 20 gems, we need 300 for one single. So uh yeah, that's that's not so good. Not so good. We got a few more. We got a few more. Okay, so we can keep claiming those. Uh, daily missions. You can get 30 for completing all daily missions. Which, um, okay, so if you, if you equate it to like other gacha games, where, you know, let's say for Dokkan, you can do one single with five dragon stones. Um, this is basically the equivalent of half a dragon stone. You complete all the daily missions, you get half a dragon stone. That's 30, right? Because you need 300 to do a single. That's not so good. Yo, Nintendo, come on, man. Be a little bit more generous with these gems, please. I would appreciate it. Um, how much do these gems cost? Let me let me check out the store, actually. Maybe we'll buy some for uh, some summons, possibly, if it's not too bad. Um, it's kind of bad. It's kind of bad. Uh, let's see. For a multi, oh, you know what? It's actually cheaper. I think it's actually cheaper than Zokan, at least, uh, and a lot of other Bandai games. But it's still not awesome. So we're gonna, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. But guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I don't think we're gonna, I'm gonna do any more. Uh, we'll keep going with the story in the next video. We'll keep doing uh, some more battles. We'll hopefully do some more summons in the next video as well. Once we get some more gems. Uh, hopefully the game gets a little bit less stingy over time. <laughs> and that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching the first part of my Let's Play series for Pokemon Masters. Uh, like I said before, I'm really enjoying this game. I think it's really well made, really, really quality. And uh, I'm really glad that it's available in Canada now. So for my Canada friends, my fellow Canadians, uh, you can go install this game right now and play it on your phone. Um, I think it's only in the Android store, though, the Play Store. So... Uh, iOS you know users might still be out of luck and uh, if you're a Android user 
uh, outside of Canada or Singapore, you can still access this game through a VPN. Just, you just have to download the APK online and then use a VPN like Ola, H-O-L-A, which is what I used to use, uh, to play it up until uh, the global release on August 29th. So it's still a little ways off, but if you guys don't want to do all that and still want to wait, then you can stay up to date with uh, what this game is all about and what's going on and the gameplay and the story on that stuff uh, through this channel. So if you guys enjoyed that video, you want to see more content on this game in the future, then uh, definitely consider subscribing to the channel, smash that subscribe button, join the Tiger Squad now, and I promise you will not regret it. And uh, in addition to that, of course, if you guys like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And that's all I got to say, guys. I will see you very, very soon for part two of the Let's Play series for Pokemon Masters. I will be back and uh, have an awesome, awesome day, guys. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.